guys, it's Jody from Jody's Vintage Look, and I don't have my tripod because I left it at the shop. So, um, I wanted to come on here today, um, I'm at my house, my shop's closed, I don't reopen until um, Thursday at 12 o'clock, um, but I open, my shop opens at um, 12 o'clock on Thursday, so I'm, I'm at home, and I just got, um, then eat lunch with my daughter, Brookie, and um, I got my roast on, my house is clean, I'm ready to enjoy my day and paint, so I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, Hi, Linda. <laughs> um, I want to show you guys what I'm doing. My daughter found these chairs. Well, actually, she got these chairs from a friend of hers that um, is buying a restaurant, and she was um, going to throw them in the trash. And they're vinyl chairs, and I want to show you guys how um, you can paint vinyl. I did it a couple years ago, and I'll show you the chairs that I painted. Because today, it's only 34 degrees, and it's hard to paint. Um, it's hard to paint in the cold weather because it's snowing out too so it's kind of nasty but um so i'm going to show you what i did and how i did it and stuff like that so if you have any questions let me know so i'm going to turn the camera around maybe okay okay that's that's what i have the sticky in right now so these are the chairs that she the little girl was throwing away and i i don't think they're um I don't think they're leather. I don't know though. They kind of feel nice, but I really think they are vinyl. But if you can see, they're um, they're pretty gross, actually. <laughs> I mean, I cleaned them. I cleaned them really good, but they're they've seen better days. And so there's there's really no rips in them though. I mean, well, there that there's kind of bad. But once we paint it, you're not going to be able to tell. And I don't know. I don't think I'm going to keep or sell these. I think I'm going to keep them because. I'm going to redo my bedroom. Um, my husband, I love shabby chic, but see there's paint on them and stuff. But um, My husband likes manly stuff. <laughs> and I'm a shabby chic girl, so my whole house is shabby chic. So the, our bedroom is really manly. So I, I'm going to redo the, the bedroom, though. i got to keep the, um, I got to keep the black furniture that he chose. So, um. I might add these chairs once I get done because I'm going to do this. I plan on doing this like a gentleman's club, like a golfer's gentleman's club type theme. So anyways, back to my project. <laughs> Here's the chairs I'm painting. So <clears throat> I definitely think they're vinyl. So they were free. So, you know, stuff like this, if, if somebody gives you something free, then you should definitely try it and see what you can do with it. Okay, so here's the first coat of the paint I'm using. And... It's cold outside and you're not really supposed to paint unless it's 50 degrees above. So I had to spray paint them outside and bring them in. So this is only the first coat that I used. But when I get the second coat on, you guys will see it's going to be pretty cool. So I plan on just painting this part white and then um, painting the back part. This is called Sandy Blonde, Sandy Blonde by Debbie's Design Diary Paint. I'm going to paint that, that color to give it a contrast. So I want to show you um, the, the chairs I did last year, but first of all, I'm going to show you what I used. Hang on a second. <laughs> so this is what I used. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you guys see it? And it, it's vinyl, um, vinyl fabric paint. And what it is is, like, well, when you, like when you get your, when you get, when you get a new or car when you're a teenager and you're a junky car, you can buy some of this to spray on the seats. But it's, it's, uh, it's actually for car seats, vinyl car seats. And so I got it down at the um, automotive store, and it's seven dollars a can. And they have all kinds of colors. I want to do white because I'm trying to, um, if I do keep these chairs, I want to break up my room so in there so it's not so dark. So what you do is, um, first of all, I clean the chairs with hot soapy water and a little bit of bleach, and then this deglosser. And I've talked about this before. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, this particular one I got at Home Depot. The one at Lowe's is strong. You have to wear gloves and a mask. This one, I don't even wear gloves, but it, it says you're supposed to. But 
Anyways, this is for like kitchen cabinets before you paint them because no matter what, your kitchen is going to have that grimy, yucky from cooking. So this deglosses it and that's why I put it on the chairs because those were in a restaurant. And so I wanted to make sure I got all the grime and grit off of it. So I prepped them with this. I, you know, washed them real good and used this on them. Then I spray painted them with this, the, the front of them. With this vinyl, you can go get it and it's cool. And I've used this before. I'll show you the chairs I did a couple years ago. And they, um, they've worn perfect. I mean, they, I haven't had any problems with them. So I'm going to take you out to my sunroom where it's cold. And show them to you. Show show you my chairs real quick. Okay. I like. I normally in the summer we sit out here and enjoy it, but it's cold out here. But um, this is what I painted, and these are vinyl, but these were a different type of vinyl. It's more of a, I don't know. But do you see how good they? I mean, they've held up, and this they've. I've had these for two years, and so. Um, this is kind of the same thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put a saying on the back of those chairs, but it's going to be like, um, it's going to be like a golf saying, like I'm going to, maybe some fancy rich golf place, um, I'm going to, uh, to put on the back of these. I don't know what happened. So anyways, that's, that's the same paint. So, th and this is only one coat. Remember, this is only one coat because it's cold out. Hi, Katiekins. <laughs> Thanks for watching me. Um, because it's cold out and you're only supposed to paint in 50 degree weather. So I was afraid it wouldn't hold up too good. But so I'm going to put another paint, you know, spray paint of, spray paint another coat on that. But I wanted to show you too, um, I wanted to show you too, I wanted to show you too how to use the Debbie Design Direct paint that I sell. Because you can paint vinyl with it too. So I already prepped the wood and normally, or the, the I already prepped the um, chairs and you normally don't have to, but like I said, since it was a, these chairs came out of a restaurant, I was afraid of the gunky stuff. So this is the paint I sell, and I know I've told you guys this before that's watched me a thousand times, but I always want to tell people in case you don't know. But this is really cool. It's, um, it's a clay chalk based paint. And I'm the only one in Indiana selling this. How cool is that? And um, you don't have to prep the wood normally. You don't have to prep, sand, do anything. And um, it's thick, and you don't you don't even have to uh, stir it up. So I'm going to show you how how to paint this on vinyl. So come with me. I'm going to try to. I I left my tripod at the shop, so I'm so mad at myself. I don't I don't. I'm always in a hurry doing stuff all the time. So, um, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to um, bend it down. Bend the camera down. Um, Because this is just a base coat, then the top coat, the top coat, um, I'm going to add water to it and buff it out, like, but I think these are going to be super cute when I get done with them, and like I said, we rescued them, my daughter, they were going to go in the dumpster, so why not, right? And these little things here, I don't know if you guys can see. I think if I turn the camera around. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there, duh. 